Welcome to another Project Management Business Intelligence Tutorial. Today we will track Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, or DEI, initiative, using RAG or Traffic Light Rating System. Let's start our today's tutorial. This is our dataset, which contains a list of departments, their action plan, challenges, and upcoming actions. The most important column with respect to today's tutorial is the RAG status column. RAG stands for Red, Amber, and Green. It is a rating system, which is also known as Traffic Light Rating System. A RAG or Traffic Light Rating System is a system for indicating the status of a variable using the red, amber, or green of traffic lights. The rating system is inspired from traffic lights which turn red, amber, green, and back hence RAG. RAG status may represent the timely achievement of a target, such as green for on time, amber for slight delay, and red for inability to achieve target on time. Or it may represent percentage of completion, such as green for 100%, amber for 50%, and red for below 25%. Additional colors may also be adopted to communicate nuances of status. When status reporting how well a milestone, project, program or portfolio is performing or being delivered, project managers often use a RAG rating to indicate how on track or at risk is the project, its deliverables or tasks. To visualize this data in Power BI, we will import this Excel file using GetData. And then we will select the data table in the navigator window and click on the load button. Once the data is loaded, it will appear in the data pane, along with all the fields, which we can use, in our Power BI visuals, to create dashboards and reports. We can use Unicode symbols to depict traffic lights. There are various symbols between this range, which we can use as RAG status. Let's generate the list of symbols. We can use these three circles or RAG status in our dashboard. To use the Unicode symbols, create a new table using Enter Data. Let's call this table RAG. Create a column named Status. And another column named Symbol. In the Status column, enter all possible RAG status which are red, amber, and green. Now, in the corresponding Symbol column, copy and paste the relevant symbols. Don't worry if symbols are not appearing correctly. Just copy and paste the Unicode symbols here, and when you are done, click on the load button. Now, go to the table view, and open the table you have just created. And you will see that the symbols are correctly appearing here without any problem. To display these symbols in the other table, in front of each RAG status, we need to go to the model view, and connect both table using a relationship. In the data table, Create a new column named RAG symbol, and using the related function, import symbols from symbols column in each row. And now you have RAG symbols, before each RAG status, in the data table. Now we can go to the report view, and create a dashboard. In the report view, start with adding a text box, and an appropriate title for your dashboard. Add the dedicated DEI resource field to the dashboard and change the visual to a slicer. In the same way, add the department field to your dashboard as well, and change its visual to a slicer too. Add a pie chart to your dashboard, with RAG status as legend, and the same as values. Place this chart next to the slicers. Add a ribbon chart to your dashboard, with RAG status on y-axis as count, and the RAG status as legends. Then add the date field to the x-axis, removing the months and days. Place the ribbon chart next to the pie chart. Create a copy of the ribbon chart and place it below the existing one. Now change it to a column chart to display each RAG status in comparison with the other. Create a copy of the column chart and place it next to the existing one. Now, change it to a 100% stacked bar chart and replace the date field in y-axis with the department field to compare department-wise RAG status. 
Finally add a table visual to your dashboard. Add the RAG symbol and RAG status fields to the table visual. Add RAG status field one more time as count. Place this visual nicely below the slicer visuals. We are almost done with our dashboard. The only problem now is that the color scheme of our visuals does not mock with the RAG status. We can either change the colors of bars and columns of each visual individually to red, amber, and green to match with the RAG status. Or we can find another better way. We can simply go to the View tab and click on the Customize Theme button. Now we can change each color to our requirement, which is red, green, and amber. You can change Customize Theme as many times as you want, till it is what you want. Finally, all visuals have same colors as our RAG status. Our dashboard is now complete. As a final touch, we can add visual borders and rounded corners for more visual appeal and attractiveness. You can click on the ribbon chart and see the relevant targets or KPIs. And with this we end our tutorial. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked our tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful tutorials and updates.